I'm sorry. It's fine. You're just in time. No, not about the flowers. I saw Tom last night. That's good. Did you get a chance to catch up? I found him when he was missing. Guess all those years the Girl Scout paid off. I mean, he wasn't lost. He was hiding. I know all about his meltdown. That's not what I mean. What do you mean? I mean, he wasn't alone last night. He was with me. We were together. Why are you telling me this right now? This doesn't concern me. It doesn't? Laura, he's a groom. Okay. I'd be concerned if he wasn't a wreck the night before his wedding. Well, if he would be in love with somebody else, would that concern him? Laura, the chapter is over. I, I, I love him. Yes. And I feel sorry for you. You know, I've tried to change these feelings. I've done everything. Other towns, other, other guys, other jobs. And they said it gets easier with time, but it doesn't. The more the time passes, the more I miss him. Just two cowardly people acting out of fantasy of love without having to face any real consequences. He feels the same way he always has, and you know that. You're my maid of honor. Yes, and I've done everything I possibly can to fulfill the obligation. I thought, I thought I could get through this, I did, but I can't, and he can't either. He doesn't want this either. Do you remember sophomore year? When I bought that red dress especially for the event? You took that too without asking. <laughs> you know what? I picked that dress out when we were shopping, and we, we saw it in the window of Saks, but you just went in and you bought it before I could. Freshman, sophomore, every year of college, you feel entitled to my things. You try to take them because you want them. Fine, fine, Lila, you win, but you know what? When you get together with Tommy in senior spring, I was still dating him. Why are you doing this to me right now? Why are you doing this to me right now? Because you're about to marry a man, and I don't think you should. Or you just can't bear to see me happy, and I have to trash it with your emotions. No, well, you deserve to be with somebody who's in love with you totally and completely. How dare you try to pass this off as an act of friendship, Laura. Laura, this is sabotage. This takes courage. Courage. It's funny. I'm not trying to hurt you. Yes, you are. You are trying to hurt me. That's, that's your intention. This has nothing to do with Tom. This is about you and me and your envy. No. No. You cannot do this anymore. You cannot bully me anymore. Obviously, I am torn, and as your friend, I do want what is best for you, but I cannot keep you putting me ahead of me forever. You are so delusional. You actually think you're entitled to my fiancé? This isn't a very difficult or complicated situation, Laura. I won and you're jealous. Jealous? I pity you. Your groom is in love with another woman. He asked me to marry him. Not you. This is all very tragic and interesting, but it really doesn't matter anymore because he's marrying me in 10 minutes. I have to go to get dressed. Lie. He cheated on you. Oh, he did it. You did. <laughs>